Okay, back in Alice. Let's wait for a bit. It's a, ooh, it's a bright, chippy, cheery, chilly winter day here in Southern Africa. I'm back because I went to the uh, National Arts Festival, big festival. I think it's like, ooh, I don't know, 25, whatever, years old. Uh, when it started, it was one of the biggest festivals. There, yeah, now there's a lot of little festivals, but this is a National Arts Festival. So uh, I was actually there helping my wife out. She's a vendor. She was a vendor this year. Anyway, um, so I went to several shows. Got to see some shows. You know, even when helping her. Let me just. I got some of the receipts. One, one receipt I didn't get. Was it? Was that? Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, there was like um, there are uh, dance programs, performance, uh, a theater, of course, um, a music, music all over the place. Uh, then they also have. Uh, uh, seminars like that. So one of the seminars I went to July 5th was uh, 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 DACA, a short history. I say DACA, what's that? Well, that's like marijuana. Well, marijuana is this. It, but they call it DACA here. What's interesting, but the, this short history, it was, it was a lecture given by a woman. Oh, I don't have the book, do I? I, I actually I bought a book because it's a well, well researched book about uh, you know marijuana in southern Africa and they say it came from uh, was it China to India to, to Africa like that and um, and the, the pronunciation of the uh, of Dhaka comes from a whole lot of uh, different influences even the the San people anyway uh, uh, so that that was a really interesting uh, interesting thing because they're going to right now in the courts in South Africa is going to be moved to legalization to the legalization of marijuana of course they're going to do it because of uh, you know taxes or whatever happened me personally one of the things I, I asked the question because there were several actually just some uh, some justices you know some some court guys you know in, in the lecture too and I said well you know regardless of the legalization can we have a decriminalization right now just immediately so that all these you know 17 year olds whatever won't be going to jail uh, See where that goes. So, uh, also I went to. Oh yeah, there was a there was a dance concert I wanted to go to, and I bought the ticket and everything like that. But the person sent me the wrong thing. I, I couldn't go, and unfortunately I missed it. Anyway, there was another one. Uh, guess that's how I was saying. And a group was there, um, and they put on a, a, a dance program. It's a, a, a Pilo Yamansi, something about water. You know. Uh, anyway, so that was good. It was good. And what I enjoyed about that, I like to watch dance, because I used to stage manage dance a long time ago. Anyway, I like to watch dance. Of course, you watch it from a distance, won't get into all that. But, I, oh, let me tell you a little side story. One time, my heyday of, 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 of stage managing dancing in the, in the early 80s, I sat in the back row of, uh, I think it was uh, City city Center. Anyway, there was a lot of dance there. I saw Alvin Ailey there. In fact, I think it was, was an Ailey dancer. A dance concert I saw there. I'm in the back row, sitting in the back row with like Maurice Hines, all these like, you know, dancers. Yeah. Huh. It was nice. And so I enjoyed dancing. You watch it from a distance, as I said. And they were good. Like I said, they used all the, uh, they used the dancers to the best of their abilities. That's what I like to see about dance. So that was there. Oh. Let me see. Oh, this, uh, I'll wait that. No, I won't make the last. This here, uh, uh, the last night that we were there, uh, I took my wife and went to see this uh, Dr. Steph's side splitting hypnosis so he's been doing this hypnosis show in uh Grahamstown on the national arts festival for like 23 years something like that and so he gets, gets a bunch of people on stage and he hypnotizes them well some people can't be hypnotized so they, they just keep on going off but then it goes into this whole show about them being hypnotized it's very interesting and uh what's good about it it's not it's not really demeaning that people are running around like chickens whatever have you but it's 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 fun uh, but what's really nice is if you uh, if you go up on stage and you are part of the, you become the show, then the, the next year or the next show he will give you he lets you come in to see the show so you can see what you missed because you was in the show. I kidding? That's very funny. Anyway, uh, so it was, it was quite good. And, and what I like most about it, he gives them this post hypnotic suggestion that uh, for the rest of your lives, every time something happens, we'll, I forget how he says it, but basically they'll, they'll, they'll be they'll be thinking about the best you know. Uh, best motivational time there was on this beach or whatever have you. Anyway, the point is, it's a positive thing. So maybe next year if I go, maybe I'll try to be on stage, but then again, I'll do a lot of physical stuff. I don't know about that. So that was good. Uh, let me see what's these tickets here. Oh, what's this? Uh, I, miss this huh? I know I saw, let me see something here. 
think I'm missing some, some receipts because I definitely saw. Anyway, uh, let me see. My receipt for that, or history, that, that. Uh, where's my jazz? Two, two, two jazz things. For, uh, so, uh, uh, Reza Kota, who I really, really like, I really like his music a lot. So I, so I haven't seen him in years because uh, since I've been here, it's at least four, three years, four years, haven't seen him. So I have to say hello and I say, hey, blah, blah, blah. And, and so that was really good. Also, uh, uh, Benjamin, the bass player, his, his show was uh, uh, right before Reza's show. Uh, and that was interesting because a lot of people I know, but Connie Dwyer was, was playing piano uh, along with uh, Carl Shepard on, on keyboards also. Um, uh, he had a special guest, Jake's, you know, a poet thing. It was, it, you don't know any people I'm talking about, but it was a great, it was a great thing. And uh, Benjamin's a great bass player, so like that. So, so that, 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 was, that was real good. Uh, and then I saw this show, oh, um, Rewriting history, a comedy show. Just wanted to see it one night, and it was it was pretty good. But it was interesting. It was a, it was it was not that many people in the audience. Maybe about thirty, you know, because it's a lot of shows. And uh, so he went through each one and asked what they did, and you know, made a little joke, whatever. Have you. And he got to me, asked me what I did, and so I explained to him I was doing you know, postgraduate study and this, and then I'm going to do the thing better. And when I got finished, he said, "Oh, there's no joke there." I kept on going. It's pretty funny. Okay. Oh, here's two tickets I dropped. Oh, here, yeah, here's a, here the Benjamin chapter, chapter uh, thing in Razor Cota Quartet. Yeah, uh, well, and a bunch of people in there. Then I saw the show. Uh, I didn't see a lot. I didn't see, see a lot of theater shows. It was a lot of heavy theater stuff. Uh, maybe because I didn't have the, the time. Uh, but I did see a, a comedy. It was about. It was a theater. It was a play about a com a, a troupe. Trying to put on a play because the backer was coming, whatever happened, they don't know how to stuff comes. So they give you this uh, program, you know, um, it's, called, it's called Butlers and Bloopers, like that. And on one side of the program, of course, is black, the other side is, uh, is red because they're sponsored by Butler's Pizza. Never heard of them, but I guess there is a Butler's Pizza. It's Cape Town's number one pizza. I never heard of them. They got Belleville, Newlands, Gardens, and it's all in Cape Town. They had Weinberg. Oh, okay. So they come all over from Cape Town for that. Anyway, so what's interesting about is uh, you know sometimes the audience uh, there's audience participation the audience decides what happens you know so they say there's various points of view or should this happen if you want it then, then put the black dye in if, if if not put the red in like that, like that but one one time they did it and the audience wanted I think to kill the chef <laughs> I'm sorry that, that, that's what they want to do I think I was one of them too we wanted to kill the chef <laughs> But because of the actors playing, what they did, they just changed costumes to <laughs> the show. It was pretty funny. I liked it. It was a good convention. In fact, if you have a theater company, you, it's always wise to have a short piece that uh, that's humor or that lambast, you know, theater, whatever have you, just put in your repertoire. So those are the things I saw at the um, uh, National Arts Festival. It was quite quite interesting. I, I, it's 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 a good concept. It'll keep on going, I'm sure. Uh, there's a lot of things around, around the National Arts Festival. That'll probably change. Maybe I'll talk about it some other time. So anyway, that's it. Little report for me. T from the Patterson State of Trains to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.